Hey everyone, Chef Kirk Lines with You Magazine here. I hope you're all enjoying this month's issue of You. And the fact that you're watching this video means you are perusing my article on creating the perfect Mother's Day luncheon. Now, definitely check out all of the recipes in the article, but right now, I'd like to show you how to make my Mother's Day salad, the cornerstone of the meal. We're talking grilled hearts of romaine lettuce, some grilled avocado, a little poached shrimp, and a smoked paprika and orange vinaigrette. What do you say we get started? Okay, this is a special day, so I wanted to show you all a very low-stress way to put this salad together. The good news is that uh, our protein in this salad is shrimp, and since we're serving them cold, we can actually poach them the night before. You'll notice here on my stovetop, I have made a court bouillon. That is the French term for a poaching liquid to poach shrimp or fish. And in there I have some water, about a cup or so of dry white wine, some sliced onion, a few bay leaves, a few sprigs of thyme, about 20 or so black peppercorns, and a couple cloves of garlic that I've just smashed up. And this has been simmering away and getting nice and aromatic for about 10 minutes. So we're ready to go here, but we need to add some salt. And you want to add quite a bit because uh, this is a lot of water. And remember, we need to uh, add flavor to these shrimp. About like that. And let's just give this a mix. And I have purchased uh, 25 count shrimp about 15 or so of them. And for those unfamiliar, 25 count just refers to the amount of shrimp per pound. So 25 count is about that big. The shells and the tails are on, but the back has been split and it has been deveined. Let's add our shrimp. Okay, and you'll notice that the simmer is gonna go away because we've added cold shrimp to this. But that's okay, because we don't want this to be at a rapid boil or even bubbling at all. Okay, about three and a half minutes have passed and our shrimp are looking very opaque. So I'm going to kill the heat here. Now it's time to get these shrimp out of the hot water and into an ice bath. The reason is that we want to stop the cooking. Uh, and that's what the ice bath is going to do. It's going to shock them into stopping the cooking process. Now the key, however, is you don't want to let it sit in the ice water for too long. You're going to leach out all that flavor that we just added. So figure two to three minutes. At that point, you can pull them out, pat them dry with paper towels, stick them in an airtight container, and then put them in the fridge overnight. Our work for tonight is done. Okay, it's morning. We've eaten our breakfast and mom's out of the kitchen. So what do you say we make some vinaigrette? Okay, we are gonna start by zesting one orange into a bowl. The juice of half of that orange and add it to the bowl. And get as much out of it as you can. A tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of white wine or red wine vinegar. About a teaspoon of honey and a nice heaping teaspoon of Dijon mustard, about a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Season this up with some freshly ground pepper, some coarse salt, I'm using kosher salt today. Once that has all been combined, we can add some olive oil. And the trick is adding it nice and slow. About a third, third to a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. Okay, mom's ready to eat, so let's put our finishing touches on this salad. As you can see, I have my grill pan getting nice and hot on top of the stove here. Uh, what I have here is one Haas avocado that I have split in half and removed the seed. I've also brushed it with a little olive oil and seasoned it nicely with freshly ground pepper and kosher salt. And down this goes on our grill. Okay, that's going to need about a minute to a minute and a half, and then we'll give it a quarter turn. We're ready to give these a turn, and we'll just give them a quarter turn like that to get some nice grill marks, and we'll wait for about another minute. Look at that, kids. 
That is a grilled avocado right there. Now it's time to get our lettuce on the grill. So we're going to put our hearts of romaine cut side down. And these are going to sit on for about 45 seconds. And then we will give them a quarter turn as well. Let's give our lettuce a quarter turn. go. And in about another 45 seconds, we'll be ready to plate our salad. We will start by taking, you can use either one or two of these pieces of romaine. I'm going to use two because it is a special day. Now what we'll do, I'm going to take my tomatoes, season with a little salt, and we're just going to add some of that vinaigrette to it just to kind of get these going with, in the flavor department. There we go. We'll do the same thing with our shrimp. A little bit of salt and a little bit of the vinaigrette. There we go. This kind of helps bring all the flavors together. All right. Just right over the lettuce, just like that. Now, the tomatoes. Doesn't that look nice? That's a really pretty salad. Now for our grilled avocado. I really, really like just kind of scooping it out, just like that. Oh yeah, and just sort of going around the plate with it. Dress our salad with the dressing that we made as much or as little as you like. Let's garnish this with just a little bit of crumbled feta cheese. All that's left to do is to serve this salad to mom and wish her a happy Mother's Day. Oh, and one more thing. Keep reading you, the online magazine devoted to your favorite subject.